Today we are in Porto. In the north of Portugal, Porto has everything for a perfect little trip. And the city is really an insider tip. We are showing you now the highlights in 5 minutes. Many colorful houses are built down the hill. Here you can find a lot of photo motifs. The historical center of Porto is UNESCO World Heritage and the winding streets show you new perspectives. You can just stroll around the tiny alleys without having a destination. They are indeed picturesque. Now we are at the sea. Porto's cathedral is decorated with typical blue azulejo tiles. For little money you can also do a relaxing boat trip. With the mountain railway you get easily from the river walk to the upper town. And in the upper town there are more things to discover. Even the main train station is decorated with blue tiles. The Palacio de Bolsa is one of our highlights. The Moorish Hall is worth seeing. The room's architect was inspired by the Alhambra in Granada. Opposite to the old town there are a lot of wine cellars. We are now at the origin of port wine. What makes the port wine so special you will be told now. The real port wine is from the region of Porto. Not drinking port is a waste of time. <laughs> the sweet wine is stored in huge barrels and is still produced traditionally. The classical tour costs 5 euros and 3 port wines are inclusive. Behind us is the oldest bookshop of Porto. Even J.K. Rowling wrote her Harry Potter here. At least it's said that she was inspired here. It will remain a myth forever. The Café Majestique is said to be Rowling's favorite hangout. Our recommendation is a cafe just around the corner. We make a small break, of course, in the Traveller Café. The pasties, for example, are really tasty. A bit outside of the center is the huge city park. The Parque da Cidade is the green lung of Porto. It's inviting you to a walk in the nature. From the park it's just a few meters, then you are at the Atlantic. Most of the year the weather is nice in Porto, so you can stroll along the coast. At the end you can take the nostalgic tram back to the city center. The tram goes with open doors along the Douro river.
Along the river walk, there are many restaurants where you can eat good food. For example, in Chez Lapin. These are dried cod balls. The Portuguese says bacalao. You can experience an unforgettable Fado evening in the Casa da Mariquinhas. Adios to Porto. If you want to watch more of our videos, then subscribe us on YouTube and like us on Facebook.